Hello friends, it's Caroline at For the Love of Crochet. I have some mini plushies to share with you today. Some mini toys that I've made. Um, also an acquisition that is ooh, very good. I'm very happy I purchased this. I wanna share it with you in case you see it and you might like it as well. And then I have made great progress on that doll. I can't wait to share it with you and if you okay let's just start okay okay on to the minis i made something from one of my books because due to the omigurumi book tag this is one of my favorite designers i've made a few of her designs and i got all of her books she has a three pack and this is the first one i made it is the mini bear and hers, I believe, is a little smaller, or maybe because she used wool, it looks a little different. I was finishing up the yarn from my Circus Bear. If you haven't already seen that, it's a couple of videos ago. I was using the leftover brown yarn. It's called Yarn ID from Hobby Lobby, but it works up like a five weight. And here he is. So, in hers, it kind of fits in her hand. Mine's a little bigger because of the thicker yarn. And he's adorable. Now this, you sew on the legs, you sew on the arms, you sew on the ears, and you sew on the snout. So it's not a no sew or easy sew. Although you could probably manage to crochet these in and crochet these in because they go in right at the neck. And these ones, you could position them to where he can sit, or you can position them to where he's standing. I just kind of picked a position. I actually think the legs are a little long, but he is cute. He probably needs a little something, maybe a bow. So I made something from one of my books. The next thing I made came from a book that I checked out at the, my local library and it's called Happy Groomy. And if you notice, these are what I would call maybe something you would make out of clay. So they have that animated look, they have that chunky look, bright colors. And so they seem to be characters you would make out of clay. I made the bird because I was trying to use up my Hobie yarn, my Hobie cotton yarn 8-8 and I had this blue and that is the bird. Very easy. You only sew on the wings and the beak. Very cute little bird pattern. Very sweet. Love it would look really cute in a nest as some decor with some eggs during spring. Very cute, maybe in a baby's room. I like this one. So I really liked it and I want to make the bee next. And speaking of bees, a very good friend, Strawberry Bonnie Crochet, she is another YouTuber and I bought one of her toys and I want to show it to you because it's inspiring. She sent it in this sweet little package, such cute packaging. And I'm going to open it in front of you because I told her to surprise me. So Bonnie, I'm so excited. Which one you picked for me? So she did a film, she did a video on the leggy froggy and I purchased one of hers, but I told her to surprise me. I'm gonna read my card real quick and look at strawberries. She's so cute. Thank you, that was so sweet of you. Oh, she gave me a stitch marker. Oh. Hi Caroline, thank you so much for giving my leggy froggy bees a wonderful home. Uh, Bonnie, card handmade by Marsha Mom from Made by Marsha Mom, Marsha on YouTube. I'll have to check her out. Thanks for sharing. 
Strawberry Bonnie Crochet. Okay, if you don't know her, she will usually take a pattern and make it in a gazillion different ways. And she is so inspiring and you will get ideas off of her. So if you have not checked out Strawberry Bonnie Crochet, go check her out. Oh my goodness. Everyone's toys are so much smaller than mine. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Look at she made leggy froggy bees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think she put both of them in here. I told her to surprise me. Oh my goodness. I should have just bought the pair. Oh, I love them. <laughs> so these are the leggy froggy pattern and I will link it down below and strawberry Bonnie crochet turned it into a B version. Ideas, ideas. Go follow her. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I, I, I got to find a nice home spot on my shelf for them. Okay, and I will link the card uh, designed by, and thank you so much for the stitch marker. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and I can even use this as a bookmark. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you. It's, um, I will link it. It's Marsha Mom on YouTube. I gotta go check her out. Okay, so <laughs> I want to make the bee next out of this book before I have to return it. The next thing that I made came from another book I got from the library, and this is filled with tons, 30 omigurumi animals, all in these little, like, pill-type circle ball pocket friends. Um, so here's an elephant. Oh my goodness, look at the snail. <laughs> and just imagine all the colors you would use. I don't know what this is, an otter or a panda? It's an otter. So lots of cute ones. So I tried to make, I had some leftover yarn from a secret project, so I tried to make a bird. Again, because I had such good success with this one, I went for this one. Now, what I didn't pay attention to was that how the bird, mine came out more like a fish. And so it looks like a fish. And that's his tail or fin in the tail. There's his two eyes. And there's his little tiny beak. But what I should have done is positioned the eyes to where they're looking up so that it looks in the, in the wings like down to make it look more. So the eyes should have been this way rather than this way. So now it looks like a fish. <laughs> so it was a fail, but it's okay. You know, I'll try something else maybe from this book before I have to return it as well. Okay, now for that doll. The doll I've been making comes from this book called Crochet Cuties. Now I had a hard time reading and understanding the pattern. I'm easily confused, uh, but the designs in here are gorgeous and fabulous, but they are definitely constructed and written differently than what I'm used to. So. It requires a lot more thinking. And when I want to sit on my couch and relax and crochet, <laughs> this isn't relaxing. <laughs> but I made the doll and I was struggling to finish her clothing. I had tried a couple of the patterns and just couldn't get it. I came up with a plan. If you watched my video, my whip cart video, crochet craft cart update, 
and it's working out. Okay, it's gonna use one of these hair ties that people normally use for loveys. Uh, well, I was gonna make a dress or skirt out of it, and I did. And let me show you a quick video because as I was making it, I I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's working out. So I was using it as a skirt and then I turned it into a dress. And then the dress, I was like, oh goody, I can even make designs on this dress. Oh, what can this mean? I can make all kinds of dresses. Oh, I could do this for bears. I, I It's not finished yet. And you know, probably needs to be a little stretched out, like get a looser one, Dollar Tree one. So I can go further and make this a skirt. But then what I was realizing is I could also pull it all the way up and then give her some straps or some shoulders and it could be a dress that way. Also, you can put it over her arms and if you got enough stitches, voila, connect and grow this way. And I did it. I, I figured it out on my own. <laughs> so this has been a handy little gadget for creating some garments. And I imagine that I will use this on more projects because it's so flexible. I can use it as a skirt, use it as a dress, and voila. So there you go. Do you want a tutorial? <laughs> this is my first invention, my first pattern, my first thing that I've done. And I'm so excited because I haven't seen it anywhere. Okay, so, you know, I haven't seen it anywhere, so I hope it's mine. <laughs> Here she is. I, I'm still working on it. Okay, so the big dilemma is, so she's wearing it up here, right? But I can take it off because it's a stretchy thingy. So I made the top and then I was like, well, do I really want it all one color or should I switch it? And just to let you know what this shiny sparkly type yarn is, they don't sell it anymore, but it was Peyton's Metallic. And I have it in red, blue, and tan. And so I decided, well, I'm going to make her a little fancy and I'll probably give her like a little hair tie or bow or flower in her hair. Or maybe I'll add some of that lace from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure where it's going right now because I was just so happy. It's working up. And I tried to give this. So I decided to tie off on here. So um, that will be weaved in but I did give her like a little lip on it so that it gives it definition to where the top ends and the dress begins and then I was thinking well maybe I could do it in layers of colors but I'm just starting out so I am I'm taking it baby steps so voila it's working out and so I think I'm just gonna make the dress longer and then I will try to give it some designs, um, some bobble stitches or something to give it a little bit of character. I'm so excited. <laughs> what do you think of my idea? Because before, so I was thinking this, but I was going to use it just as a skirt. So I was just going to put the rubber band around her waist and then it will be a skirt. And this was going to be her top. I was going to deconstruct this and sew this to be her top. Like I said, if you watched my other video, you probably already know. But what I failed to tell you was I had a plan at first. There was a yard sale around the block from me and they had this cute little baby bathing suit and I was hoping it was going to fit her but obviously it didn't. It was <laughs> far too big. 
So that wasn't going to work. So I had originally thought of this and this little tiny skirt to go on her. So that would have been a cute little outfit, but it was far too big. So maybe I'll make a big doll and stick it on there. So this is progress. I'm so happy. <laughs> and then of course, I also had this as a backup. I already started deconstructing it. This was also gonna be part of the, the dress pattern with this sweater. So it was whichever I could work up. So those are my plans. <laughs> and I have a plan that's working, so I'm really excited. And finally, I have one acquisition that I bought at Tuesday morning. Now, I'm, I don't know about this company. I think they are, you know, they still sell this, but I found mine at Tuesday morning and they were going out of business. So it's We Are Memory Keepers and it was this glue stick tr with a tray and it came with glue and other accessories and it was regularly priced at $16.99 at Tuesday morning. I got mine for half price, so I got it for $8. And I am so glad I got it because I didn't really need a glue gun because I have one. This was just nicer. So here it is, lovely setup. And it came with uh, regular glue sticks and it also comes with black glue sticks. It comes with finger protectors and a tool to help you manipulate glue or spread it around or if you wanted to mix it with glitter, whatever you wanted to do and then play with it and use glitter uh, glue as you see fit. So it came with this tool and the finger protectors and it all is nicely stored in this tray. And at first when I thought, saw these, I thought, oh, that's so that they, it can hang on the wall, those, those, those walls that pegboard thingies, but they are just a little too wide. And I found out, oh, it's for wrapping up the cord. The only thing that, um, I wish it had was, well, I guess not because I don't exactly leave the glue stick on the glue gun on so I really don't want to leave it on but if I did leave it plugged in I would hope it would have an automatic turn off but there's no like temperature setting on this it's just plug it in and it's on plug it up plug it and unplug it to turn it off very nice find I like the color too so that is we are memory keepers little glue gun kit I really like it and then it has this little surface here if anything falls that can be wiped off or it nothing will stay here so that was my find my my newest acquisition and I'm so glad I got that I also did some cleaning up and reorganizing so there is the very top of my shelf those little boxes with my Albert patterns and Pixie Marie Crate's uh, dolphin, I believe, pattern. This is my favorite picture. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just kind of organized the dolls, my bunnies. Uh, if you're new here, I make a lot of bunnies. And a little too close. <laughs> and I am in the process of hooking up all of the bunny patterns that I own and then I just keep adding more, but. So I actually haven't had a bunny on my hook for a couple of weeks now, and I have the yarn ready and I'm about to hook it up and it comes from one of my books. But here is, here is some fancy yarn that I keep in a little glass jar and I stuck that there. And then here's all the Omega Brumi books. Here's all the uh, crochet books shelf. I have all the crochet books and more fancy, beautiful yarns that I want to use for like garments. But, you know, I have to, I can't help make toys. <laughs> I need to keep a garment on my hook, a blanket on my hook, and a toy on my hook. I need to keep those three going. And then down here on the bottom shelf, I have some threads and buttons and more Amigurumi eyes. 
and then the, the pins to to attach your things. And then I have these little tiny amigurumi eyes. And then I have a very nice set here of large um, safety eyes as well as the fabric ones. The, I uh, can never think of their name. <laughs> Um, well, you know what I mean. You can see them. So I have a lot of big ones for like big toys, but I don't really make big toys. And I just gave a lot of my chunky yarn away. Then my lovely aunt gave me all this. Uh, she found this at a yard sale and it had all these threads in here. So these, um, the, and already in this case. So that's perfect. I also have a basket full, but I love, oh, I love it. So thank you, auntie. My buttons in the tins because it's easier to find buttons uh, instead of digging your hand in a jar. This is a flat surface. Therefore you can find your buttons more easily. And then I have this one for more colorful buttons. It says Crayola on it. And then of course I got this lovely pack of more I don't know what this thread is, if it's a number one or number two, but you could buy this at Hobby Lobby. It doesn't go on sale, but she gave it to me for sale. That's on the bottom shelf. So I did a little organizing. What do you think? Okay, and then you remember Magpie? She is my favorite large toy, and I made her buddy, his buddy, the rabbit from the same book which comes from Maybell Bunny. So I made the Maybell Bunny and I made the dog. Next on the list is the dragon. So they hold a little sign that says how many scrap balls I have, and that's 44 if you can't read it. And <clears throat> these are all the mini scrap balls, except this one, which I stuck in there because I don't like it. And I just figured, well, I'll just hold it together with these to make something like a basket, something like that, because they're all little ones and I just want to, I just want to get rid of them, clear up space. Okay. And then here, okay. So we got cut off and I have to film this again. So if it sounds and looks different, this is from my book and these, this here is my container of scrap balls, which I have 44 of. And I just want to get rid of them, but it's so hard <laughs> because I have so many things I want to make and then new things come and then you start with the new things. Like I just ordered, I just ordered some yarn. <laughs> oh, the dilemmas of uh, being a crochet dis artist. Do you feel my pain? I mean, are you struggling to, do you have a bunch of stuff you want to do? I'm just, I got so much that I want to do. Oh, and then this little baby, I'm going to enter this. Um, little Drops of Wonderful is having a crochet along. And this is the Moosh pattern by Classy Handmade. And it was the only thing that I had strawberry without me having to make something else. And so I'm going to enter this as part of my mush, I mean, as part of the crochet along for Little Drops of Wonderful. I will leave a link to her video of her crochet. It's not a crochet along, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically anyone can enter and it does not have to be crochet. It does not have to be any particular thing. Just, it doesn't even have to be strawberry, but because I had the strawberry mush still, cause this one's mine, um, there you go. There's his eyes. This is a cute little pattern. And so I'm going to enter this, uh, unless I can come up with something else, strawberry or make it by the time it's time for her to show it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I shall talk to you again soon in the next video.